this example, I've logged into the uh, gradebook of my course, and I'm going to message students who haven't completed some sort of criteria. So I'm looking at this practice example of an incomplete and incomplete grade, and I'm going to go ahead and select the drop-down menu to message students. Um, and the first category is haven't submitted yet, and so I can go ahead and send a message. Um, And by doing so, um, all the students who are listed will get a message. In the next example that we're going to take a look at, I have some students who uh, scored fairly high on an exam, but also some students who scored fairly low. And I want to let them know that they have the opportunity to retake the exam. So again, I'm going to hit the drop down menu and I'm going to go ahead to message students. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and say students who scored less than a 45. And I'll see the two students who have gotten two different scores. And I can send a message. I'm going to go ahead and switch into the student view for Miss Jones uh, so that we can see what it looks like on her end. So I've gone ahead and I've uh, logged in as the student. And you can see that I have two conversation messages waiting for me and two in my inbox. And when I go to my inbox, I can see that uh, my first message is from Mr. Boxer, letting me know that I can retake the exam on Friday or um, to submit the homework assignment uh, for the uh, um, item that I didn't uh, submit. So good opportunity to remind students of opportunities to extend practice.